Yeah, okay, basically, so that's it, it's exactly what we're going yeah, for. That's, oh, that's, that's exactly what we're going for. Awesome. No one, they don't have that. Hey, no. like, you interview her. YouTube, YouTube basically has people, just no one person, basically has one person on the camera just giving their own opinions. They never really bring in other people to talk and debate. Like, I could have one form of asking questions. He could have another one. He could have another one. But if we have the same fighter in front of us, we're all going to ask different questions. Yeah. And it's going to go a different way. Yeah. So it, we don't have that on YouTube. So it works. And then we also rotate different guests, like not so much like a, a guest as a fighter, but other just other media, media members people and or just fight fans. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just want to be on. Thank you. They said that they have no problem with weight; that they're actually pretty good right now. That's what they said during the our little interview and section time. Why do you don't think Jesse will make weight? Oh, all right. Well, we'll I like we'll, that. We'll speak with and them again. You want to get up here and So then, yeah, I signed up for 10 grand. So I told Harrison, I was like, you tell them, they don't take weight. I don't care, they know this. They don't make weight. I'm working out for five. So, so. And if they don't, and if, I, if No Nito decides because No Nito's crazy and he might want to fight, I'm tripling that price. And they're like, no, we're not going to sign it. I go, if you're going to make weight, what do you care about? 10 grand's nothing if you're not going to give it up, right? Right. Right. Interesting. Wow, that's very interesting. And uh, Jesse used to fight at 115 or 118 at one time, right? Yeah, but then he started then fighting at 26 and 124 and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so that there's a lot, yeah. yeah. So so let's, let's end this down. Let's wrap it. Interesting. Thank you for that information. Thank you for that, Rach. Right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we, have, we have a dilemma. Do you, do you pick a Jesse parlay or do you pick a uh, Filipino parlay? That's the biggest question that boxing fans will have, and I absolutely don't have an answer. I mean, <laughs> we've interviewed both fighters. Is 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 the Filipino flash back, or is Jesse the young lion coming up? We don't know, but but what I do know is we just learned something about boxing with yeah. uh, with uh, Donair telling, teaching us about cadence, took and you uh, to he tell, he definitely took us to boxing school, and uh, I'm forever grateful that, for that. And I know like uh, Filipino fans in the in the Manila is actually jealous of us right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, let me say one last thing. Um, one thing I did notice about No Needle Donaire is he seems to be excited. He seems he's he seems to be happy. Um, there was a time where he no longer had the desire. It seemed like he his heart was in in the sport. Um, he was just doing a job. Now it seems like he's actually having fun with it. And I think with uh, having a guy who's really enjoying what he does for a living. Um, Okay. Uh, having a guy who's really enjoying what he does for a living is going to be a very dangerous fighter, and uh, Jesse's going to have his hands full. It's going to be a great fight. And in closing, follow us on Twitter on the Fight Guys underscore. Our YouTube channel will be up tomorrow with these interviews. Uh, the YouTube channel is The Fight Guys. Again, just continue to follow us. We'll bring you more events like this. Not only will we be talking to fighters, their trainers, and promoters, but we'll be also talking to other media members, getting their opinions on what's going on in boxing today. For The Fight Guys, saying, see you next time. Thank you.